Number 10 then from paper 2 of the 2019 Higher Maths, there's the polynomial question, 7 marks here. Part A, show that this is a factor of this polynomial, and then you notice, oh, it's power 4. No matter, you can still do the same thing. You can still get to write out your synthetic division table, and then, as you might expect, finish off factorising it. But you can expect it to be a little bit longer, because it's power 4. Well, synthetic division. So the coefficients would be 3, 10, 1, negative 8, negative 6. They're all there. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 for the powers. Now if x plus 3 is a factor, that means that negative 3 should be a 0. If you put negative 3 into this, the answer should come to 0. You could certainly do it that way, but it'd be a bit of a waste of time because it wouldn't lead any further. This is handy because it will give you the 0 if it's meant to be that and it'll also tell you the remaining factor, the remaining cubic factor in this case. So, proceed. Bring down the 3, multiply it up, add it down, multiply it up, add it down. Now that multiplies up to 6, add it down, that's a negative 2, multiplies up to a positive 6, and there you go, it comes to 0. Sometimes you box it off just to keep it away from the rest of them. That's not sufficient, of course. You have to make a statement now. And the statement is, the remainder equals 0, which means x plus 3 is a factor. Because it divided in exactly. And of course part B was, hence or otherwise, factorise it fully. Because then normally you would have had just a quadratic left and you're quite happy factorising quadratics, this still will be a cubic. I'll put it down. That becomes x plus 3 times, and if I was to write that out properly, it'd be 3x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 2. That's what I've got so far. Now I've got to factorise this. Well, it's just a case of trial and error. Not a lot of trial and error, because whatever this is, notice the number at the end is a 2. There's really only going to be ones and twos that you can try. So it's just your luck which one you get first. Is it the one or the negative one or the two or the negative two? You just start at the beginning. If it works, it works. You've got it. If it doesn't, try the next one. So you try one, for instance. Bring it down. Multiply it up. Bring it down. Multiply it up. Bring it down. Multiply it up. And it worked. So that means I can factorise it further. So x plus 3, if 1 produced the answer 0, x minus 1 was a factor. Now you're left with a quadratic and you're happy again. 3x squared plus 4x plus 2. Now you can proceed to factorise that. Then you think, well, multiply to give 2, add to give 4, when one of them's trebled. And you realise it doesn't work, but you can check. You can work out the discriminant of that for this one. You've got b squared minus 4ac will equal 16 minus 3 times 4 times 2. Now that's 24. So that means it comes to negative 8. So that means this doesn't factorise any further. So I don't even need to make these because I'm just going to finish there then. I'll put since that 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 does not factorise. I hope they can read that. So that's why I'm stopping here then. That's it fully factorised because that can't be factorised any further.